Hey everybody, I want to introduce to you uh, Kia Fowler. She is the wife of Will Fowler, who is the founding pastor of the church that meets in our building every Sunday afternoon. But uh, you probably shouldn't think of her as pastor's wife because she is um, basically pastor two in the church. And so I want to start by asking her to introduce herself to us a little bit. <coughs> Kia, thanks for joining us. Would you just introduce yourself a little bit to us, explain a little bit about your ministry and your involvement in it? I am Kia Fowler, wife of William Fowler, pastor of Love Life International Ministries. Um, I am a pastor's wife. I am not a pastor. I am just his helper. I preach from time to time. I teach. I am the sound person. I am the cleaning crew. I pick up the pieces that fall by the wayside. So anything that he needs to help the ministry run smoothly, I am there to help with that. Is there a favorite part of that ministry that you're involved in right now? Um, I really enjoy the women in our in our ministry. Our ministry is mostly women, and I enjoy the women of our ministry. So when we can come together and just be women and talk about, you know, God and life and children and husbands and all of that without the presence of those children or husbands, that's always a good time. <laughs> Now, you're always kind to Will behind his back, right? Usually. Usually. All right. Usually. So um, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about your spiritual life and how 2020 has affected your spiritual growth. So let's start before 2020. Okay. And share with me just a little bit about how you would describe your spiritual life before 2020. Before 2020, um, I did Bible study um, usually about once a week. I read uh, three to four days a week my word. Um, I listen to a lot of spiritual music, uplifting, I don't know what you call Christian, gospel, whatever label you want to put on it. Um, and so I worship a lot. And then I came to church on Sunday and started all over again. But 2020 kind of changed that a bit, hmm. I guess, because not being able to when they shut down the country, us not being able to come together kind of puts you in a different type of mood because you're not used to not being around people. And it, the people in your household, yes, okay, but after a while they tend to drive you crazy and you want to go somewhere else and be around other people and you can't. And so um, at one point in the year it made me, um, it made me more focus more on God. It made me go to my word more. It made me pray more. And then in other parts of the year, it made me more distant to God. So in those moments when I did go to pray, I would just hear him say, but you're leaving, come back. And so I would go back and I would pick up my Bible and I would read and I would try to study, but you know, it was just different. It was just different. So for you, the three things that are the the biggest impacts on your spiritual life are reading the Bible, praying, and listening to music? Yes. W when you listen to music, do you sing along? I do. Do you dance along? I do. All right. <laughs> so it's not just it's, it's not, not just passive listening. No, it is a whole experience. And for me and anybody that is around, I have had people at the stoplight see me dancing in my car, and they just join in, and they don't even know what I'm listening to. They, they, but they join in in their other cars. Yes, they do. All right. And I enjoy it. <laughs> so, um, so you said that during 2020, though, mm -hmm. you went through these, like, it sounded to me like you were saying you went through these ups, ups and, downs, and downs. Yeah. Where sometimes you were in the zone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Not so much. 